Mitsubishi Rise Up manual transmission. Um, this is a 2010 4.9 litre 4 and 50 engine with a six speed manual. Um, we're on the passenger side or the left hand side. I've already drained the oil, but straightforward fill, drain. Always try and crack the fill before you crack the drain because if you crack the drain and the oil comes out and you can't do the fill, you're in trouble. But anyway, it's located on the left hand side of the transmission. These two here. All right, so that's the two plugs. Obviously the one with the mag in it is for the bottom to collect all the gears you missed. And the top one is just a regular old plug. So obviously we've drained it. We're moving the filler plug first. So now we're gonna replace the drain plug. It's important not to do this up too tight. It does have a washer, so don't go crazy. I'm just gonna do this one-handed. I'm using a pretty big ratchet, so you don't get much of a feel for it, so. You can check what it's meant to be. From experience, that's more than enough. And then we're gonna use this little pump to fill it up because there's not a lot of oil. It doesn't really matter. It shouldn't take too long to use this. So we're gonna fill that and then pump it into the transmission. You can use a funnel, I guess. You can probably fit one up there through the front. And fill this. So you wanna fill it till it just leaks out. All right, so this is what we're using. It's 7590 Ultra Clear LS, synthetic. Obviously you can use whatever oil you like. This is what I prefer. I've used it for a long time in a lot of things, including in high performance applications. Haven't had an issue. Now, supposedly, we're actually going to need more than four litres, so we'll see how this goes. Um, we did give it a good drain, but it never drains all of it, so we're going to use this pump. Like I said, we're going to fill this and see how we go. And this needed the oil change pretty badly. It was pretty black, and it was a little bit hard to get gears at lower RPM, so this should help. Anyway, we'll fill this gearbox up. We'll see how we go. All right, so we got four litres in it. Well, it barely took four litres. We spilled a bit, as you can see. We've got we've still got a little bit left over. Plus, there's a little bit left in the bottle. Um, and four litres. Obviously, be aware that if you have your bus on ramps or jacked up, or even your car, I guess, you know, the level might not, might not be correct. Anyway, so it did take less than four litres. Well, four litres, let's just say four litres. It does say more, but not by much. So I'll just go with four litres. Um, that's it. Done and dusted again. <clears throat> Don't do this up too tight. It's got a washer. There's just no need. That'd be a hero. Worst case, you could crack the transmission housing. Yeah, you know, the, the least possible thing that could happen is you could destroy the washer and it could leak, or you could destroy the thread in the transmission or the thread on the on the bolt so yeah just take it easy you can always do it up a bit tighter if it leaks but you can't fix a crack in the transmission that easily so yeah that's the um six speed manual on the razor 2010 4 and 50 engine so 4.9 litre turbo diesel with the six speed that's it done and dusted